How's it going everyone? One Angry Soldier Gaming here. I'm posting this video because I was having a problem with my audio pass through to my television via my Hapog HD PVR2 Gaming Edition Plus. And I've checked everywhere online. I, I even narrowed the search down in quotations um, as far as audio pass through to television goes. And I came up with two results. One of them was for video, so I canceled that out. And the other one, um, the only other existing one was from a forum post of something I've never heard of. I can't even remember the name. But everyone on there was making suggestions like, uh, um, you need to check the software settings. If that doesn't work, then your hardware is bad. And you need to just throw this PVR away and get one that works. And I'm thinking, well, mine's still fairly new. I'm not going to do that. So I... Out of frustration, I decided to try one more step because I spent hours searching. And the one step I, I chose was so dang easy, I felt like an idiot afterward. What I did was I power cycled it. If you're not sure what that is, that means just unplug it, wait 5 to 10 seconds, and plug it back in. And I did that, and next thing I know, I've got audio pass on my television, so now I can actually hear my games while I play them. And... Uh, you know, I would recommend giving this a try as well. If you use a USB-supported one, such as uh, Elgato, or I think Roxio uses USB. I, I don't know. I'm not familiar with it. But, uh, you know, see if that works. If it doesn't, try a different USB port. If that doesn't work, check and make sure that your software did not get set back to factory original. Sometimes that can happen. Um, I don't know how, but it can. If... If everything is the same, then contact the manufacturer's technical support. Do not go and listen to these other people online who claim to be experts. If they don't work for the company, don't listen to them when they say junk it, trash it. You know, um, because if anybody would know for sure what your problem is or whether or not you need a new one, it's going to be technical support for the manufacturing company of your PVR device. So... Uh, give that a try. See if it works for you. Hopefully it does as it worked for me. So take care and happy gaming.